Good afternoon. It is 3 p.m. Um, I'm just waiting for my vlog to upload. Um, I washed the floors today. Um, while I was waiting, I did a sudoku. Which is fun. I'm still reading B is for Burglar by Sue Grafton. Um, it's okay. I think I like it a little bit more than A is for Alibi. But I'm also only like a little bit of the way through. Um, I tidied up the back room today, so there's no longer like a huge mess there. I'm not saying that there's no mess because there's definitely still some, but uh, it's better than it was. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say. I'm gonna read a little bit while this finish uploading. I'll see you later. Good evening. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I have yet again left myself a gift. Um, still working on this. I have about 100 pages left, so I'm hopefully going to finish this before I go to sleep. I would really like to start a new book. I also got some socks today. I have had this sock subscription for a while. Um, it used to be A different company say it with socks um but now it looks like it's foot cardigan anyways they're super cute i like them a lot i'm very excited to get to wear them um yeah it was a good day i yet again forgot to show you how much done i got on the cross stitch tonight i only have one quarter left and it isn't like a super busy quarter either so i should be able to finish that tomorrow and move on to the next one so that's great news for me um i don't know what else i'll get up to tomorrow my parents are going to be gone for most of the day so it will just be me and sir duke but yeah i'll see you tomorrow morning Um, serious question, can you get burnt out of being unemployed? Because I'm feeling pretty burnt out tonight. Um, I'm just so exhausted for no particular reason. Um, but anyways, uh, today was good. I finished my cardinal cross stitch, which I probably didn't show you. I'll hopefully remember to put a picture here so you can see it. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, even though I did make quite a few mistakes in the bottom and I got a good start on the next cross stitch I'm trying to do. I got almost all the first quarter done. I just have some more leaves and vines to do in that quarter. So that's good. Last night I finished B is for burglar and I liked it a lot more than A is for alibi. I think I talked about it a little bit yesterday how I was enjoying it more but it was definitely a better book. It didn't feel as overwritten um, things seem to flow better. Um, I could figure out the mystery, which is always something I enjoy. Um, and yeah, tomorrow is going to be a pretty chill day. I want to finish the book that I started reading, To Heaven to Hoax. Um, have it on my e-reader because I borrowed it from the library. I do have to go to the library and return a physical book that I borrowed. And then I might go to Indigo just as a little treat, um, to make myself feel better. But that's, uh, what the plan is, I like need to get better at doing b-roll so that my daily vlogs are more exciting than the two minutes of me talking at the end of the night and um, like a couple of footage here and there of different things that I've done. Um, but I think that might be next week's task. But, you know, we'll see. Anyways, that's it. Good night. Bye. I'm at my car. This morning I got a lead on some sugar cookie toast crunch. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and see if I can find some.
So I had a very successful trip out. I got my sugar cookie toast crunch and I am so excited about that. I'm probably gonna have some of it for lunch. And I went to Chapters as well. Um, I got Meet Me Under the Mistletoe by Jenna Bayless. Um, no comment. I got a graphic novel and my Christmas cross stitch magazine. I'm very excited about this. I'm so excited, in fact, that I may consider subscribing to said cross stitch magazine because I have a problemo. Anyways, um, I'm gonna eat and I'll see you later. So today was a pretty, a pretty decent day. Um, I did some cross stitching. Great. Uh, I did do a little bit of decorating for the holidays. I didn't film it. Um, so I'll show you tomorrow what I did. I only, it was only like a very tiny itty bitty bitty bit of stuff, but, um, yeah, pretty chill. Um, I did take a two hour nap this afternoon because I woke up at 2 a.m. this morning, so We'll see how sleep goes tonight, but I'm going to read a little bit more of To Heaven to Hoax and then hopefully fall into a blissful sleep. Um, so I'll let you know how the reading went tomorrow and I'll see you then. It has been a pretty lazy morning. It's almost noon and I'm still in my pajamas. I finished To Heaven to Hoax and like, you know, it was just okay. Um, I really liked all the characters. I thought the characters were really good. But I didn't like the story, so what are what are you gonna do? You know. Um. So the next book that I'm going to pick up is a fire, a slow burning fire. I always want to say a fire slowly burning, um, by Paula Hawkins. I started this two years ago while I was camping, and then just never finished it because I am. Um, very good at life. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any plans for the rest of the day. So I guess I'll probably do some cross stitching. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll see you later. So as you saw, I made some really great progress on my cross stitch tonight. Um, the part that I was working on, I did some leaves um, and that was a little bit frustrating because I, unlike some of the other patterns that I have that are spread out over multiple pages, this one doesn't have a grayed out so that you can see like the last two lines on the page before. Um, so I made a couple of counting mistakes there switching between pages, but I got that all sorted out and that is fine now. Um, but uh, I did the out, the darkest outline on the wings tonight, um, which I think is going to be the hardest counting part for the wings, so I'm glad to have that done. <laughs> I'm very tired. Um, I have not yet opened this book today, A Slow Burning, A Slow Fire Burning. I will never say that title correctly for the duration that I'm reading this, and that's okay. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a busy day, so I'm probably not going to get to do a lot of reading or other things like that. Uh, me and my mom are gonna go hit up some craft things. Um, it's Christmas by the sea, she seashore Christmas, something like that. Um, so the Eastern Shores crafters are doing this. Thing. It's gonna be a lot of fun and it's gonna be great. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to find some cool little gems um, and share those with you and perhaps get some more Christmas presents um, as that time is quickly approaching. Uh, but yeah, my mom's going to the valley on Saturday with her friends to go to more craft fairs. Um, so she wanted to fit this one in before she left because it's only 
this weekend. I mean, like, a lot of the vendors are still going to have stuff, but there's going to be special vendors. Anyways, busy day tomorrow. Um, so I'll see you then and, um, yeah, show you what I get. So we just got back from the Eastern Shore. It was a really fun afternoon. I didn't end up getting too many things. I got this cool Fisherman Santa, which I really love, um, and some new cards. Oops, that's upside down. Oh no. And I also got an antique photograph. It's downstairs, um, so I'll show that to you later. But most excitingly, my pre-order came from Witch Hat Atelier Volume 10, and I cannot wait to get to this. I still haven't read Volume 9. Um, but I love this series so much. It is so wonderful and heartwarming. My brother's coming over for dinner tonight. Him and his fiance have just gotten back from a trip to Hawaii. So that will be my evening tonight. Hopefully I'll still get some cross stitching done. Um, and then I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow other than I am going out for coffee with a friend. So that would be fun. That would be nice. But yeah, I'm quite tired. So I think I might take just a little, a little tiny, teeny tiny nippy nap. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll update you later. It's just after 10 p.m. and I am getting ready to go to bed. I'm going to read a little bit more of my book before I go to sleep. I'm a little bit more than halfway through now. So that's nice. Um, dinner was great tonight. I'm just, I'm tired. I'm tired. I did a little cross stitching. I don't think I took a picture of it, but it like wasn't very, it doesn't look like much, even though I spent two hours on it. So if I do any stitching tomorrow, I'll update you on that. But yeah. You know, good day. Good night. Tonight is my uncle's retirement party. I just finished getting ready. I'm just pretty simple. It's just black um, because I don't really know uh, what the vibe of the party is. So this seems ooh, pretty safe. Won't be wearing that ring. It's a little too big and too small for the next finger. Anyways, um, yeah, it's been a pretty good day so far, but I'm going to go and uh, celebrate my uncle. So I'll see you later. So I just got back. I didn't end up staying too long. There was a lot of people there and Duke was unhappy. So um, I came home so that my dad could continue to enjoy his time at his brother's party. Um, but I did finish a slow fire burning earlier today prior to going out and like you know it was it was just okay it wasn't anything like super special um i wouldn't read it again um i don't know i don't know anyways i'm gonna cross stitch some and uh, i'll catch up with you before bed It's midnight and I'm going to bed. This is the latest I've been up in over a month, probably. Um, but I got really in the groove with my cross stitch and I was so close to being halfway done. And I just really wanted to hit that milestone. So I still have a lot of work ahead of me on it, but, um, the light at the end of the tunnel is there, which is always nice. But yeah, it was a good night. I didn't stay too long at my aunt and uncle's because when Duke was barking. We have like cameras set up so that we can watch him when we're gone. Um, so I came home early so that my dad could spend time with his family. And that was great. Um, so I, I watched a Hallmark movie and cross-stitched. Um, I watched Three Wise Men and a Baby, and I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I'll watch it again because my mom will want to watch it. Um, 
but yeah it was less uh cringy than I thought it was going to be so that's nice but um yeah that's it for tonight I'm going to bed I'll see you tomorrow so it's, it's just past noon um and I just got dressed I read a little bit on my e-reader um I haven't been doing a whole bunch uh but I am going to start decorating uh the back room so let's go do that so things are a bit chaotic in here right now I am flattening some cross stitches before I iron them on the table. There's just some stacks of stuff. Um, so step one is going to be to clean up some of this um, so I can get some stuff out. I didn't want to put all the decorations up. It's like a slow creep in here. Um, so I have some more stuff to put out, but I took everything out of the boxes. So I'll show you this with the lights on later, but that's the tree. I hung these up just because it was going to be easier to hang them. Now though, they won't be lit. And, um, I hung that up. We have snow globe. These are more lights to hang up later. Um, and then another snow globe and a tree candle so yeah it's uh it's coming together but um slow creep <laughs> And that brings us to the end of another week. It was a pretty good reading week. Um, I've just started a new book on my e-reader. <sighs> the Many Daughters of A Fong Moi. Um, so that's exciting. I'm pretty sure I just put this one on hold because one of my friends made a meme about Zodiac and said that that was a book that a Gemini should read. Um, I really like the first chapter though, so that's good. Um, Duke had a seizure today, um, which is probably why you can hear him barking. He's just not quite settled um, and a little unhappy, but he's fine. Um, he's not very distressed. He's not really distressed, I should say. So uh, that happened. Got my first tree up and decorated. I did some cross stitching. Um, so I only have 11 leaves left on that quarter and then I can get into the final quarter. So I did most of a quarter today, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, it was a long week. It was a mostly good week and I'm excited to go to bed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week if you tune in. Um, yeah, hope you have a good week.